We've hit over 100 days on the loop, over 50 days traveling, and we are officially at 10,000 subscribers. So it's time to celebrate! Woo! Woo hey! Ale, 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 ale. Oh, you want a brotherly? Oh, do you want a beer? Oh, you want a pop cup? Hi, we're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we left the United States and backpacked through 11 countries, all before deciding to come back home and try something completely new, pivoting into boat life. Our current adventure is America's Great Loop, a 6,000 mile journey through small towns, big cities, and the wilderness from the eastern portion of the United States, through the Great Lakes and Canada, and down the Midwest rivers, all aboard our home on the water, Pivot. Make sure you subscribe as we share our journey through the highs, lows, and everything in between. Pivot is anchored just on the other side of this island here on the Hudson, and we are going around the island to Hudson, New York, on the Hudson. The anchorage has been fantastic. There's been practically zero traffic through the area, so that means no wakes. It's like 11 to 15 feet deep, so that's, we've had great holding, and we have the island protecting us on one side, and then Athens, New York, protecting us on the other side. It's been really, really good. This has definitely been our best anchorage on the Hudson so far. This is a living machine that converts food waste into renewable energy and fertilizer with zero waste. Cheers. Cheers. 10K. 10K. 10K beers for 10K. A beer for every thousand subscribers. So we are going to give you like our thoughts, feelings, reflections, I guess, when we were at the brewery. But there was music playing and it would immediately get copyrighted. <laughs> so we decided to pivot. Yeah. It was great beer though. I really enjoyed, like I had an IPA and then also a New England IPA and they were both great. Yeah, and I had a, a cucumber beer and jalapeno a- Jalapeno cucumber. Jalapeno cu cucumber and a sour and they were both awesome. But we wanted to take this video and this time to just go over <laughs> how we're feeling after reaching 100 days on the loop, 50 days cruising days on the loop, and reaching 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. As of now, we are a little past all of those metrics, but not by much. Just first off, thank all of you guys for following and subscribing because it just gives us so much joy being able to share uh, what we're experiencing and, and the real life and the real life, the Great Loop, the real life on the boat and just trying to... And the real life of learning how to boat. <laughs> yeah, and just everything about life. I mean, that's what, that's what we share. And we appreciate you guys being along for the ride and, yeah. and commenting and, and liking and, and everything that you guys do to show us that you're present. It's just it's nice. It means even a lot Just watching, us. even if you don't do anything, you just watch, like that also shows us, so means thank a you. lot. Yeah, we also just want to take a second to say thank you to our patrons. They have been an incredible resource to us in the past few months and just as we've been cruising, they've just been amazing. So thank you so much to our patrons. Absolutely. But I think the meat of this video, we really just wanted to get into what are some of the highs and the lows, the challenges and the, <laughs> the things that we like did and did not expect maybe of the Great Loop of... I guess for me, for this Great Loop, right, this is our second attempt, it has been a lot more challenging than I thought. I thought we had figured it yeah. out. You know, we got into a routine, boat was running well, um, you know, but just, that's boating, you know, like oh, stuff goes wrong. there's gonna be a train that wrong. comes by. 
yeah, stuff goes wrong um, and you just have to deal with it. You know, like yeah. this great loop, we had the bimini tear off, we've had the sh our shaft seal start leaking profusely, we've had our bilge pump stop working, we thought the boat was gonna sink. We've had our engine died in the Atlantic Ocean. A lot of things that were very stressful very hard to move past yeah. just because they kind of hit you and they drain you really whenever you you already have a full plate i think the thing that has been portrayed in boat life and in this experience is that very romantic like idealistic view of boat life and what we try to show although sometimes we do it better than others but it's not always as romantic and glamorous. and glamorous and beautiful and like like fun as it may be as it may seem when like when you're viewing it on a screen you you're, you're or even if I'm viewing it and I'm editing it later on that moment whatever the stress is in that moment has passed but in the moment I want the you solution to deal with. And, and yeah, yeah and, and deal so with it's this Problem. Right, and so it's very hard in the moment, and it's like boat life in general is a lot harder than like what I expected, I guess, because it was very romanticized prior to starting boat life and prior to owning a boat and understanding a boat and understanding the the, the challenges of maintaining a boat. Um, but that doesn't mean that there aren't some very high highs. Yeah, we've seen some incredible things. Just personally like for what and what I mean by when I say personally is like things are more impactful to different people for different reasons like seeing the Manhattan skyline yeah at night that was seeing just, the oh my God. Statue of Liberty yeah it was and then hiking to the top of Bear Mountain like that was oh so much fun like that's exactly what we want to do yeah like walking around and just enjoying um what some of these towns and what some of these cities and places have to offer has just been so much fun and when i don't think like i really understood that prior to doing the great loop i don't think i understood the the beauty in like just like being the whole present. well yeah being present for what whatever the place is has to offer and it doesn't matter like what my preference is in terms of a place but just trying to be whatever this place is just being all in and just being all for it and that has yeah. been a really good test and like push for me to be present which has been really amazing and then finally just the amount of incredible people that we've met either through youtube or through just doing the loop like bill and margie We've been traveling with them most recently and they just turned out to be the most sweet and kind-hearted and helpful people. And then before that, there's been uh, so many other loopers that we've met that just like really have a special place in our hearts because at that time, meeting them, it's just been an experience. And then- Yeah, there's like, honestly, there's too many people to like recount. Yeah. Because I, I literally start thinking of this boat, this person, this boat, this person, this boat, this person. And it's yeah. just like- I don't it want to bore you guys. You guys have yeah. seen them on YouTube anyway. And then all of the people that we've met through YouTube and through our email list and reaching out and saying, oh, make sure you check out this or, oh, you know, even just like, I want to, get a trawler one day and I'm wondering if you've how it is for you with this just wanting to get you know our perspective on things we are living it we are doing it right now and uh, picking our brains that makes me feel very happy when I can help and when we can help we people. can get back yeah exactly yeah so, so we just want to say thank you um, thank you for watching these videos. Thank you for continuing to watch these videos and showing up every week. Thank you for reaching out to us. But it's just yes. been, it's been great. So we just want to say thank you. Thank you. Very much. We and, appreciate it. And here's to another 10,000, another 100, and another 50. We got this. And stay tuned for tomorrow. We're going to continue cruising north on the Hudson River to Albany, I think. I don't know. I think Albany. Stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Thanks for watching. Ciao. Ciao. That's what we're doing? Ten beers? What? Really? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Wow. I think as a... <laughs> There's literally a train, like... It's really cool.